Howdy do, and welcome back to Bendy and the Ink Machine, Chapter 3. In which case, when we left off, we escaped, I believe, Sammy Lawrence, who had become like an ink monstrosity, and apparently Boris showed up at the very end, and I, we don't know what happened. At that point, it kind of cut off. We ended up at like a safe house very briefly, but I don't know how safe that safe house is about to be, so let's find out together, shall we? If it didn't crash and freeze and... Okay, there we go. Chapter 3. Rise and fall. Boris the wolf. Boris the goof. Gorge. Sheep songs presented in silly vision. All right. Can I open this? I cannot. I missed what the objective was. It was right there and I wasn't paying attention like a dumb. All right. Let's see. Well, I can leave this. Ooh, okay. This place is really... Nah, I'm not gonna... I was gonna make a dumb pun. I feel like that's just the way to go. Is to make... Oh. Why is this just... Oh, this is nasty. This is nasty. Oh, it gets worse. It's just ink, though. It's just ink everywhere. Well, this one's locked, but like, oh, there's like a there's like a can in there. Not that I really want it, unless it ends up being like a hundred percent thing. Place is really geared towards. Uh, see, that's what I, I just tried to force it, and it didn't work. Okay, we got the. Uh, oh, oh, there's Boris. How you doing, Boris? It's a safe house, ain't it? How safe is it really when the ink is even leaking into here, though? I don't... Okay. I'll take one of them. Thank you. Ah. This. This. This is... This is... This is like a Megazord. Of different parts. That's... You know what? Okay, cool. What's what's the what's the term all the cool kids use? An amalgamation? Yeah, I'm gonna stick with Megazord. Why... Because I'm simple. I'm, uh, you know, sometimes in life, you gotta take a step back, look at what you're doing, and evaluate how much effort do you really need to put in. Not from a lack of care, but like, are you over, or just overdoing it. Like the forced pun. There was a whole lesson I just set up right there. Were you paying attention? If not, that's fine. Spooktastic. What's up, Boris? Gorge. Yes, I know. That's the only word that's been said so far. Can I get up on this table? Can I dance on the table? Because we've got music playing. I feel like letting loose. It's been a stressful first two chapters. And, uh, yeah. I'm not getting out of here that easy. Mm-hmm. He to open the door, but the lever is missing. Is it now? He probably has it. He probably does. I have a really bad, goofy impression. Sup, Boris? Gorge. That's it. It's like talking to a Pokemon, but with Goofy's voice. Hey buddy, using that lever handle around? Or are you holding it hostage until I make you something to eat? Why, yes, I, I am. So. Let's see what we got. Are, are you hungry because Max is missing? Yes. Oh, that was a bad one. That was a bad one. That was a forced one. But I gotta, I gotta try. I have to, because when I see him, that's all I see in my head. And you get to, you have to share in it with me now. Okay? You have to be victims of what I see as well. That's how the only way I'm making it through this, because, uh... That's if I recall... Enough. Again, this is my first time playing through it, but obviously, like, you, there's other people that have played it. This is not, like, a complete new experience. But at the same time... I, all, I remember Chapter 3 being, like... The first chapter where the game was kind of overhauled a bit, but also possibly the this one specifically being a tad bit uh, tedious. There you go. I don't remember how exactly though. Oh, that you just want that's what it looks like. Is that why people eat it? Because it looks like tar. Why are you eating tar? Tar with uh, mushrooms. Mushroom. Okay, see, that makes it that and it's also bacon. So, bacon, mushroom, tar. I guess I can't judge. I've never had bacon, mushroom, tar. All right, lever. Now we have some leverage. We can get out of here. Finally, Find a new exit. Seek a way out. Oh, you're coming with me. Why, yes, I am. Hate that. Let's see what's out there. Don't wander off. Cool. 
Can we go back, though? Is there going back with... Oh, 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 Guess there's not. Now we're in the thick of it. You'll be fine. Will it be fine? Because it doesn't look like it'll be fine. What is this? Little miracle station. I could use a miracle. What, what, what kind of miracle? Well, hello there. Yeah, I, 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 I know. I know. This is just... It's just going to be me and technically me, but me and you this whole time, isn't it? Yup. Cool. I want out. It's one of these again. I didn't I didn't look for my axe. I'm pretty sure I maybe it broke. That's right, it broke. So I don't have an axe. I can't we can't do that. Let's just continue on then, shall we? Looks like it's really dark up ahead. Let's find some light. Like this? This looks like light. What up? Darkness. Hello, darkness. Nope, that might get copyright. Oh, it just got even darker, even though I have a light. Don't be scared, Boris. I'll keep the light near you so you don't get lost. Boris doesn't look scared. He's kind of just chugging along. He's just kind of like... It's like Powerline. Dancing up on stage. He just he just did the perfect cast. He's fine. If anything, we're the ones that are freaking out. And so are the lights. The lights are routinely just not... Okay, maybe if I don't keep the light on him, he did doesn't... You hear that? He, he's powering on because I have the light yeah, on him. Gotcha. That, 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 that makes a bit more sense. He's like, I'm confident. I got this, this walk going on because I know you're right behind me if something happens. Another dead end. I don't see any other way through. You got any ideas for us? Oh, yes, I do. Wait. I, can I fit through there? You look about the same height as me. Also, when did we get to the Death Star? What is this blast door? doing here oh there's one here too can I ah yes tubular ink shower just give me just give me that I've been eating the bacon all day this is this is just pure nutritional survival at this point Left. Both go the same way, I imagine. Wow. But, uh... I don't remember any of this. Oh, yes. Let me in. Heavenly Toys. Joey Drew Studio. So, Joey had, had to has a toy line. He finally has a merch shop. That's good to know. I know what these do. I know what these do now. So when when are you gonna do it? When are we gonna get this over with? Cause I I I, I want I want to have this fight. Let's just have this fight already. Let's get it over with. Where did Boris go? Boris left me already. He didn't like the goofy impression. I don't blame him. It's bad. But no, okay. Heavenly toys, as opposed to can't press that. Can I punch in? Another day, another dollar. Thank goodness. Why is there always something blocking the door? I mean, why not? That's not life. That's 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 just life. Is there's always a door to go through, but there's gonna be stuff blocking it, and then it's up to you to decide how much you want to move that obstacle in your life. If you don't, then you're gonna remain forever blocked, and if you do, you'll well, in this case, you might still remain blocked. This place is messed up. But, like, the, the, the lesson that I was going for was... Sometimes you gotta put in effort to make progress. That's, that's the bottom line. So let's put in some effort. Let's make some progress. What did the thing say? I wasn't paying attention. Because I'm trying to fill empty time. It said something. I wasn't I, I I missed it. Like an idiot. Really wish I didn't. I know I don't have to go that far back. Whatever it was, it was not that far back. What did it say? Darn it. I should have been paying attention. I should do that from now on, really, anyways. Is I have this thing where I'm like, I don't want there to be these long stretches of empty space that 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 could be boring. But then if I'm I'm looking away or doing something, I miss maybe something I need to watch out for. And then now we're in this scenario where it's like, huh, okay, well, 
Now we have a new problem where Okay, a lot of toys up in here actually. Oh, I can open that, but there's nothing in it. Can I get around the stool? No. Nope. At the same time, when I get stuck, what I probably should do is stay quiet, and then if, like, it ends up taking me two hours to do something that should have taken me, like, 30 minutes, uh, I can cut that down in editing. And then, instead of rambling, and then maybe saying some interesting stuff, so I'm like, oh, now I'm compelled to leave this in, you can have those empty spots to leave out and, like, do other stuff with. Ooh, what is this? Sean Flynn. Top of the morning to you. What you call it? Oh, okay, so Jack Septiguy's in this game. That was that was Jack Septiguy. All right, all right. It's just this simple. I thought I passed that and it wasn't glowing. Maybe that's the thing. I'm also impatient, and if I was a bit more patient, uh. Ah. Ah. I'm dumb. Theme of this episode. Brought to you by... Pancakes. Why? Because I probably would rather be eating some pancakes right now than any of this bacon stuff. Not that pancakes are bad in any means. It's just like... These tool... Stool seats. Just, that's what they reminded me of. It's not the greatest comparison, but... I'm just gonna stop. I'm... I'm gonna save you the, the the anguish. Okay, so that one's working. Does that mean yeah, sure enough. This one. Well, okay. It is glowing. There, okay, yeah, thank you. Okay, that one's moving. This one's like not moving still. What else is up in here? Ah. Ah. Now Yeah, there we go. No, what? No, there we don't go. Well... Uh, Flubber! So we have Jack, Septiguy, and Flubber. Now, now we're gonna probably survive, right? Cause like, no way between the two of them, green boys, we're gonna be- Well, technically he dyed his hair back after stuff, so I- These are always clues, though. The bendy dolls of the crooked smile. These are usually clues. What I've been realizing the past two chapters is these are actually usually usually clues about what to do next. And so, can I push this again? Ah, okay. So in this case, it's very simple. We just keep moving it until it moves. But in general, we gotta keep that in mind because sometimes these are just these are these are clue. Hello, is Boris in here? Because I lost Boris a while ago, and I'm not too. Alice Angel in Siren Serenade. Okay, is that what angels are? Sirens? I thought those were two different things. I I don't know if this. Well, I don't like this. I like the light. That's why the light was on. I, if I wanted the darkness, I close my eyelids and go to sleep. Mmm. 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 -mm. Like I get your singing, but I all I hear is incoming demise. That's all. It's like imminent death. With a rhythm, though. It's a nice, nice, catchy rhythm. Death. Oh. She's quite the gal. Oh! Alright, okay, I'm ready for a fight this time. No, you don't. Everything's dark. I told you spiders were going to be a thing. Probably not, because otherwise I'd already be dead and with them. 
I'm just coming up with counters to everything they say because I don't like this. I don't. I don't. I don't. Why? 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 Also, they look very different from the posters. Something's definitely gone wrong there, I imagine. As has this whole studio. Ah, oh, boy. The demon or the angel? Which one do we want to get done first? Because then, which one do we want to do second? Uh, you know, let's let's go this way, because I didn't like the look of that. What was that? Oh, so the other way's now locked. You hate that. Oh, this is a mistake. This is the wrong way to go. Oh, wade in the water. The ink. Hey, Joey! Is it? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. can, make you rich. can it? Can make you I doubt it. Oh. So, so Joey is Darth Plagueis the Wise, basically. That's something that's definitely even more uncomforting than this bottle of ink with crossbones and death on it. So, we're dealing with a Darth Lord of the Sith. We're dealing with Monstrositus Inc. We're detectives, ink detectives. We're basically Batman. We're Batman versus Darth Plagueis. We all know Batman can beat anybody given enough time, though, so we'll be fine in the long run. But, uh. Short run, not so much. Why are these here? I'm not liking the implications of these, like, hiding closets with the viewport. Like. It just gives me this vibes of we're going to be chased and need to hide from something. Oh my die. Ooh. Uh knock knock. It doesn't get better, does it? Ah, jeez. Boris. Boris. Oh, you scared me to death. Don't suppose you found anything we can use to protect ourselves with. Well, gosh. <clears throat> Why, I have. This will do. Will it? Okay. Now we're going to get into a fight. They gave us a weapon so we can fight. Boris, I'm... Uh, bor, 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 Boris, bor, Boris, buddy. Boris, buddy. Buddy, Boris. Bor okay, he's gone. I'm gonna have a look around. There's gonna be something here that I'm gonna need to come back for, probably. A lot of Alice. A lot of Alice's back here. A lot of all ice. It's all ice. I told you, seek a way out. Anyways. Alright. On a bit of a serious note. Looks like to open this, we're gonna need to throw two levers at once. Okay. You get this one. I'll find the other. I will? Boris seems like he's okay in his surroundings. Maybe he should go get the other one. Because you know, he might survive. Fine. Wait. Bindian, the Butcher Gang. Oh. Yeah, I knew there was a fight coming. I just didn't know the severity of it. It was going to be a poster literally coming to life. You don't want this fight, though. I, I, you will catch this pipe. And you will lose. I wanted to read that. Oh, it's just presented in Silly Vision. Gotcha. Ugh. Well, gosh, what happened to you? Don't, don't ask me. I don't want to talk about it. It... It didn't happen, as long as no one sees it. Just crop it out later. I need a moment to recollect myself. Hold on. <sighs> I got jump scared by a poster. Let that sink in. Oh, 
Ooh, an elevator. We're getting out of here. In style. Right? Can we just... Can this just... And can we... You're so interesting. So different. Am I? Because I have this I have beard. Say, right now. Kind of... Kind of scraggly. Like Okay, cool. 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, P, K, 9, 11, 11, 11, 11, I hit 9 by accident, dang it. Door, emergency door, stop door, Boris, 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 buddy. We're in trouble, we're in danger. This is not good. Well, here's level 9, I want to be anywhere else but here. 14 floors. Let's just go to literally the other 13. Nope, nope, nope. Twisted world out here. <laughs> wait, wait. 911, right? Okay, 911. Nope. Okay, awesome. All right, punch in. Always on time. Are we always on time? I feel like the whole thing with the Powerline concert was how late we all were. Oh, look, there's this. I'm going over here. Ah. No. No thanks. I will say this is impressive. So there's at least 14 levels of this place. It was a huge place. It wasn't no small ordeal. Okay, so Darth Plagueis Joey has been cutting corners too. Probably explains all the leakages. This is probably leaking with everything you can imagine even before the ink. Like, you know, air, water, earth, fire. These were the four. Never mind. Will this open? Will this just open for me? Yep, it will, and I hate it. Alright. Why are you running, Boris? Can you see Max? I don't like that he's running. Oh no. Isn't the Boris we saw earlier? Sad Garsh moments. Hashtag sad Garsh moments. Gorsh. You want this pipe back? You want to extract some revenge? There's a lot of. Well, hold on there. He's even the bad guy strapped to it. What was going on here? Look around. Yeah, I am looking there around. So many of them to make me so beautiful. Did you consume? Oh. Did she? So you feast it off of their hearts and souls to stay beautiful. So you're like what? Uh, uh, like a worse version of Ari from League of Legends, who's based off of the nine-tailed fox spirit from Asia. Yeah, okay, well, I'm really bad at dodging the charm. The charm hitbox might be questionable in that game, but I'm also just bad at dodging it anyways. So it's just more red flags for me. Of what I should probably not do, but here we go. Boris, you stand over there? Alright, cool. Ah, cool. I literally saw her. I saw her and I'm not loving it. Boris, you, you get over here before something bad happens to you. Because at this point, you're the only person I can trust right now. Bad, goofy impression included, okay? Ah, I really am not enjoying... What is this? Well, all right. Hmm. Now we come to the question. Do I kill you? 
Do I tear you apart, my heart's delight? The choices of the beautiful are unbearable. Mm. How's a girl to choose? <laughs> Take this little freak, for instance. He crawled in here, trailing his tainted ink to my door. It could have touched me. It could have pulled me back. Do you know oh. what it's like? Living in the dark puddles? It's a buzzing, screaming well of voices. Bits of your mind swimming like, like fish in a bowl. The first time I was born from this inky womb, I was a wiggling, pussing, shapeless slug. The second time, well, it made me an angel. I will not let the demon touch me again. I'm so close now. So almost perfect. Hmm. <sighs> yes, I will spare you. For now. Better yet, I'll even let you ascend and leave this place. If you will do a few easy, weensy little favors for me. Return to the lift, my little errand boy. We have work to do. What about that guy? What about, uh, John? Go on a limb and say John's not going to be in Bendy and the Ink Machine 2. He's probably not going to make it. I, I, I have a feeling, I don't know why, this feels like, like a nah. Boris, Boris is gone. That's exactly what I didn't want to happen. It's the bad Goofy impressions, isn't it? Chased him off again. Well, I'm sorry. Okay, look, this is a terrible situation. I'm trying my best. To, oh no, he's on the elevator. I can see him. Hungry. Gather me some spare parts. What? Take the wrench? Excuse me? Oh, this. Ah. Okay. Maybe that's the problem. I went too fast. Have you met him? Oh no, Demon. never mind. Demon. They say he hears everything. What if he every creak of the floor, every rustle of paper. I wouldn't run so fast if I were you. You never know what will draw him in. Maybe we're supposed to be back here. Oh, what is that? Hey. I mean, we can fight if you want. Nope, you're you're actually trash. One down. I see. So these guys have the gears, and I gotta be seeking them out. Search and destroy. I can do that. I saw you. They make a funny noise when they die. Ugh. There's so many inky noises versus the noises of just the regular enemies that's slightly hard to differentiate. These are shelves that must be full of gears, right? No? Full of you, though. Ah. Dang, so we did really have to come all the way back here, huh? That was smart on me. This one's empty. Yeah, but they all aren't empty, probably, huh? Ah, that should be plenty. Return them to me. Why wouldn't the elevator just be here? 
Who who thought it was a good idea to move the elevator? Boris, did you move the elevator because you gotta get away from my goofy impressions? I could switch to Mickey Mouse. Uh -huh. Will that be better? Probably wouldn't be better. I know someone who could do a Mickey Mouse better than I can, for sure. Was he? Because I, I think I met him last chapter, and I don't think that'd be the word I'd use to describe him, at least at first, or at second, or at 42nd, for that matter. There's a lot of things that was messed up about that whole scenario, actually. Why do I need a wrench to go collect some gears? Is that just for the melee aspect? In which case, give me a real weapon. She is quite the gal, ain't that? Uh, definitely something. Yeah. Just full of extra thick ink. Yeah. Makes me sick. Sure. Perfect thing for keeping myself together. If you're gonna catch them, you'll have to learn to move quietly. Come back to my door. I have something that you'll need. Let me guess. Oh! An ink syringe. Don't mind if I do. It's still melee enough to fight with, so we gotta fight people. Gotcha. The Swollen Ones. Hunt Swollen Searchers on level 11. Oh, so now they're just straight up giving me where to go. They're like, hey, you wasted like an hour doing nothing. So here's what you're supposed to actually do. Punching in. Level 11. The level of dreams. I hope. Because I'd rather that than nightmares. Hey, Boris, how you doing, but buddy? Buddy, you're not doing very good, huh? Haven't seen Max in a while. Well, no, I haven't. Well, that's unfortunate. We'll get you back to Max. It's a. Does that count? Huh? You expect me to sneak up on that? Um. I don't know if y'all can see it in the distance, because it's, it's pretty hard to see, but... That... that dude's head swinging on a... on a... on a... I hate it. I hate all of it. I hate everything right now. I don't want it. The sounds is what's getting me right now. And also this dude in the distance who has his head like swinging on a string attached to a stick attached to his neck. I don't like it. He got really ahead of himself it looks like. Look at this. Am I not backing up far enough? Apparently not. Apparently that dude can just whoop my behind. Don't like that. Don't like this ink canal that I'm being like birthed out of. Is that them again? No, they're still down there. Rematch time. No, 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 no. Come get these hands. Come get these hands. Now hold still, buddy. This won't hurt, actually. Just, just don't move. I mean, okay, sure. Uh, and what are you supposed to be? Sh 
Should I find out? Can I even find out? I feel like we're gonna find out whether I want to or not, which is why I didn't pursue that. Also... What? What? That dude had like a TV on his head? Wait, hold on. It's really registering with me now that all the sounds have kind of stopped in the background so I can actually think out loud and in my own head. What? He's like the projector from the second chapter, but with a body. And also ripped. They're all like... Mm-hmm. She was perfect. Mm-hmm. No matter what Joey says. Yeah, that's right, Joey. Probably said it's a trash waifu. Alrighty. So. I'm gonna run. Now what? I'll make this simple. Look for valve pads. Turn the little wheels. Then bring me their power cores. Ah, Please now that's... Please don't make me regret sparing you. I can always change my mind. Take the plunger? Can I fight with a plunger? Which with the plunger? Here's the thing, right? Because... I think this is what I recall vaguely about the, the tediousness. Technically, this is all in the same section. It's different objectives, and it's not that bad, but... Okay, so we've been to K. I've been to P. I want to, I want to know about the projector head, dude. I want to know about the projector head, dude. Projector dude. Project Ed. Pro head. Pro we gotta come up with a cool name for him. Pete. His name's Pete. Sweet Pete. Be a lot more fun if you came with me, Boris. Oh. Oh, okay, you're a bit more trash than your friend was. You're... I can't hit you, though. Is... is e there we go. That was weird. I was like, hey, isn't the E button the interact button? Like, can I interact with the exit so I can get the heck on out of here? I really don't want to be here anymore. Um, we're back here. Yeah, that's what I was waiting for. It's like, this plunger really isn't good for fighting, actually. Not the biggest fan. Oh, it is. Okay, so... I feel like that middle dot is important. Can these go down? Uh, hello? Can I work in peace? Looks like it's already gonna take some time to do. I wanna get all of them on the even line. I'm eyeballing it. There. Okay, there we go. So this is what we're supposed to be doing, but some of them don't have batteries yet. So do we have to find batteries for them first? Or do we take the batteries we have, put them in the other ones, and then take them back out? Well, this one's already evened anyway, so we probably don't need to touch that one. Okay. That makes sense, actually. Who thought a plunger would be an effective weapon? Not me. I'm being honest right now. I didn't think this would be a good idea at all. It's really not.
Oh, oh, I know what we're supposed to do. Uh huh. Yeah, I saw that. Don't know how long it's gonna take for him to get here, but oh yeah, look at all that. Not a fan. Oh wow. You must be Bindi, Bindi, like just the Ink Demon, right? That's what this must be. Just having yourself a darn good time, just walking at like the slowest speed ever. But it doesn't really matter because you own the joint. Everyone's afraid of you. Imagine if you could just be like the laziest person in the workplace and everybody feared you anyways, right? Quite the efficient little errand boy, aren't you? Am I? Am I just ahead of the curb? They really don't want you to sprint, because if that's the case, that's why that happened. That's why all these are around here, though, because it's not going to always happen, but it'll happen enough to make you be like, hey, maybe I should stop sprinting. I don't think I can box with, uh, Bindi. Benny. Benestro. Uh, what's your name again, buddy? Could you just speak into the plunger? Yes, right into the plunger. Spew all of the crap that you're probably going to spew when we meet you like everyone else has. Right into the plunger. All Ice Angel. Can they? Susie. Susie Q, like the pink Power Ranger. Amy, Amy Joe Johnson. Is that what this is about? Reliving Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, but not like a reunion, like just bringing back like the 20 years ago, giving everyone 20 years of age back. I don't know if I want to be 20 years younger though. You see those grinning demons? Let's remove them, shall we? I've got just the tools. A sword? Do I get a sword? Eh, it's kind of like a a range sword. Also, what's stopping Bendy from just being mad at me doing this? If you don't mind me asking. All ice. Sure enough, here's like a bajillion cutouts right here. Like, 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 we go all the way here, and it's a long way to get back to Alice, is the thing, too. How many does that leave us? With two. Two left. Where did you come from? Ah, ah, nope, 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 nope. Know what that means. Bendy's not happy. Like, I would imagine he wouldn't be. Like, there's a music that's playing, by the way, too. Like, but it's like, it's, it's really bass. It's the effect on the walls and stuff that really lets you know Bendy's coming. Yeah. Hey, Bendy. I have an axe now. I do have an axe to grind with you, because it's your fault we're technically down here to begin with, but I'm starting to wonder if you're more of the victim. I mean, maybe not, but like, everyone else down here is afraid of you, but they're all also very twisted. So are you twisted too, or are you actually like a product of their twistedness and they couldn't control you or something anymore? And so now they're just like, ah, well, darn, now we've done messed up. We can't contain it. Like just to be really nerdy with Sonic for a second, that was the Bio Lizard, right? In Sonic Adventure 2. Like, it was an experiment done to, in, in, in seeking the cure for immortality and all that, and they, they couldn't control the Bio Lizard after a while, so they sealed it away in the Ark's core. And it was a prototype of the ultimate life form, which would eventually be Shadow the Hedgehog. So, and Shadow the Hedgehog, he's a perfectly fine functioning being, but like, maybe that's what this is, right? That's why it's called Bindi and the Ink Machine, even though, really, the only thing about him we've seen is hiding from him. And mainly other characters, right? Of course you get.
Ah, look, he came right on back. He would, ah. Like, if I had merchandise, it's almost like an axe to it. Well, I don't know, right? Because it's like, it's like the burning your Nike stuff, where in reality, it's like, if you wanted to hurt Nike, you don't burn stuff you already paid for, because they have your money at that point. If someone's taking an axe to my merchandise, but it's like theirs, they bought it already, it's not really a statement that's going to stick, right? Like, what you w should do is return your stuff and get your money back and take the money back, like, from them that way, but... To be fair, Bendy, you don't look the same as the cardboards do. There's like apparently a lot of Photoshop and stuff in the works to, to doctor some things up. Which is fine, you know, like I said, you, you could be a perfectly fine person. There's nothing wrong with you then. But if you're not a perfectly fine person, I need to tell you, you might have a condition. That condition being spooptastic. Yeah, no, we could take some time to either be silent or fill the void. So even though this is probably the the if i re, like i said i recall this not really complaint enough for people to quit playing the game or anything but just that it was tedious and even with that a lot of people that were playing it like did finish it so uh, having experienced it myself now i can i can see how backtracking like that far for like the last mission and stuff can maybe feel a little bit like eh like maybe let's do that one first and do the other ones last, because then we're slowly getting back closer, just for the sake of, if we get confused like I do, not that the game should baby its players, um, just because I'm dumb and couldn't figure out what to do, like, at first, for a second with the wrench and all that, doesn't mean that's how it should be for everybody, like, some people probably clicked, like, immediately, and it was pretty clear, um, but at the same time, just from a distance and time-saving thing, I might just, I don't want to act like I know what I'm talking about, because I haven't designed a game before, but just, in terms of feeling good, it might feel good a bit to slowly be working your way back towards Alice. Like, closer and closer per mission, instead of having, like, to go really far back. Especially if it's going to be along the same way that you, you know, came at the start of the level, right? Like, if I go any further back, we're back at the safe house at this point. Excuse you, I'm talking to my audience. So, I, I, that would be, like, my little bit of input. Not, it's not, like I said, it's not enough to take away from me playing the game more or even stopping or anything like that. It's not that bad. Like I said, most of the people that I that said that, it wasn't that bad enough for them either. They all finished the game as well. So, I, I will say that. But, like, you know, just... If they were ever doing it again or retooling it or something, I'd say probably make change the ordering a bit. Right, like, introduce us to the fact that Bindi could come chase us uh, immediately. And then we never have to worry about what those clauses are about. Like, we get it from the start. Um, not that we have to, but just for, for the spook factor. Perhaps. Now what? You're not my angel. The Butcher Gang? Ah, one of them's hauling it right over there. I see him. Oh, the whole gang's here, huh? Let's rush the first one so we can maybe try one on one fights instead of one on three fights. This wrench ain't really that good, is it? Oh, you have a stretchy hand. Oh, you just face tanking. Oh, oh, there's dangly dangs. Bow dangles, gotcha. Hate that. I got the high ground, Anakin. Oh no, the high ground really is working. You can't hit me. You're actually trash. Obi Wan Kenobi saved me. Mm-hmm. I like the silence. Don't you? I don't, can't say I hate it right now. No. Oh, I can't leave any work unfinished. Fortunately, I have you to pick up the pieces. But you'll have to go even deeper. Down, down, down into the abyss. Why? Take the lift down. Say hello to an old friend. Why? Why? The Tommy Gun. Oh. I forgot. It's a little hard to get a hold of. Oh well. Better luck 
luck next time. <laughs> I hate you. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I was really excited for a Tommy gun. Just, just, you said I gotta go into the abyss. Let's be real, underwater, a Tommy gun probably is not that effective anyways. It's not that much of a loss, I imagine, but we're gonna find out. But, uh, why? Why exactly do we need to go anywhere deeper than this? Why? <sighs> Don't like this. How you doing, Boris? Well, gosh, I'm not doing that good at all anymore. Me neither. For that matter, I'm gonna steal your voice. You're gonna steal my voice. I don't like that. Boris, usually I'd say come with me, but you might want to stay put for this. This just looks terrible. This looks bad. Oh, it's that guy again. And what pieces would those be? Let's use the pause button. Use the lift to descend to the depths. Oh, we haven't been told yet. Okay. This place is entirely too big, by the way. I, I don't think we, all this is necessary at this point. Outside of just being mean. at Mean o'clock. Alright, let's fight. Come on. Fight. Fight me. Fight me. Let's go. Come on. Come on. What do you want? You don't want it. Oh. He two-shotted me. So, I'm not afraid of fighting him, but I, like, literally physically cannot fight him. Ah, so that must be Norman Polk. Same way Sammy was the other guy. Hello? Mr. The Projectionist? Has your light begun to fade? The sun's getting real low, big guy. Maybe it's time to retire. Which is totally fine to do. I just want... I just want... I, I don't... I don't want to know what this section is. I don't want to know what this section is. I really don't actually want to do this. Mm -hmm. Go on about your way, Mr. Projectionist. I played my fair share of egg quarters in Sonic Adventure 2, dealing with the egg beetle. I know you're kind. There's only one of you. We just gotta stay at a distance. Ah. A really big distance. Like, what if I just ignore everything and just kind of, you know? I think he knows I'm here. Oh, yeah, he knows I'm here. He knew that. He, oh, he knew. He knew. I don't think he saw me, but I think he could still hear me, which then kind of defeats the purpose a little bit, but... 
I understand. I gotta be silent and also not fast. Sprinting is something they don't really want us to do in this game. Basically. You're actually incredibly slow until you see someone. Then you sprint like no one's business. Gulp. Mm hmm. Ah. Ah. So that's the circle. That's the circle you make. Not the circle I need to make, though. I need to go branch off. I gotta collect the other two. I see. I'm trying to make a mental map of the of the layout so I know where I need to turn at and go that he doesn't go and I have enough time to do before he gets up to me. That's not me making scared noises. That's just surprise sound effects in the face of What is, what even is he? Okay. Is there another thing to hide in? Ah, I'm looking for corpses. Collect five ink hearts, or do I? So I found the fifth heart, and it's not even in the maze. There's only four hearts in the maze. This is the fifth heart. I kind of want to make you wait, because I, I, I'm not liking you very much. So basically, we tossed and turtled and fight with the projectionist for about 30 minutes that we just didn't have to because I'm dumb and I didn't notice. I didn't notice, or maybe it's not glowing. And it's probably glowing. I'm probably tired. I probably look tired at this point. Not because I'm not having fun, though, but just because like I also started this recording pretty late as it was. So now it's really, it's really drawing on me a bit. All right, then, what are you going to want next, Boris? You can't have him. Boris is my good friend. He's my friend now, and that's just all there is to it. Him and all of his goofy voicing pleasure. It seems we've reached the end of my to-do list, my little errand boy. Yeah, now what? I hope you enjoyed our time together. Do you? I'll always treasure it. Return to the lift. It's time to go home. Uh, you say that, but if I recall, the elevator is not safe. I should probably take the stairs instead. I really probably should take the stairs instead. Back to the old grind. What if it's just Earth, but no bad stuff? Uh, that's one way to put it. I don't think I'll ever get to see it. Why not? Are you ready to ascend, my little errand boy? No. The heavens are waiting. Are they? I don't think they're waiting for me. This elevator is kind of... <laughs> Boris. Oh gosh, maybe she's telling the truth. <laughs> I don't think that laugh is truth-telling. Yep, I take it back immediately. <laughs> I hate that. I don't like the fact that she controls the lift. I doubt you do. Now 
Oh, you want Boris. Okay, now it's fighting time. I understand, lady, that you are absolutely insane. Oh, that's ain't good. Hey, Boris! Boris, behind you. Boris, behind you. Boris. Boris, buddy, I appreciate it. Gorsh, you're really not waking up. Yeah, because I need you to turn around, like, right now. But... I can't do it any louder. At this point, like, we're in an apartment. It's after hours. I should be being quieter anyways, in general. Would have been perfect, though. Maybe in editing, I'll just go throw it in. All right, Joey. I'm here. Let's see if we can find what you wanted me to see. Chapter 4, Colossal Wonders. Well, you know what this means. New chapter means end of an episode. So thank you so much for watching this episode. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell notification, the actual subscribe button. And we're going to rescue Boris in that next episode. So, I don't know which video will be next. We're just going to have to wait and see. So until this time, take care. And enjoy pizza responsibly. Thank you for watching.